All right, Mark Deering here with Adventures with Remax. Um, just by the whim, we're right by each other. Yep. This is Kurt. Uh, was, he's, I think it was fate. I, I think, think it's it fate. fate. I think it's fate too. So Kurt is an ambassador for Van Duet, and uh, we met actually a few months back. I've been shopping for Van Duets, and he's right. a, a Michigan ambassador. And just by just by chance, his booth is right next to ours, and I do have my order in on a Van Duet. Yes. So these vans are amazing. Um, they are Ford Transit vans converted, um, Ford Transit passenger vans converted. And uh, they're more of like a utilitarian, more of like your, I'll let you do some talking on that. Well, you know, they, uh, interesting, a lot of people look at this van and, you know, first of all, they assume it's a Sprinter, which it's not. It's a Ford Transit. And the reason being, um, the fact that they use the Transit is simple um, in the fact that just about anywhere you go in the United States, Canada, or Mexico, you're going to be able to find someone who knows how to repair a Ford vehicle. Um, the other thing is the parts are readily available. So that's the reason for using the Ford product. Um, the passenger van aspect of it, though, um, you know, really, it, it makes this, the vehicle so much more functional, very versatile, um, very modular is, is the term that they use, because in addition to having all of the T-Track and all of the components that can be put in and, and taken out, you have the ability to put your passenger seats back in. So right now, um, for this show, I did keep two seats in there just to show people how it, how it can be. But if I take the kitchen pot out, which you'll see when we go over here, I can put another two bench in there, and then where the uh, Dometic refrigerator is, there's a jump seat that goes there. So I can, you know, within 15 or 20 minutes, turn this back into a, a seven-passenger van. That's what attracted me. Um, so I've been looking, and there's obviously, um, you know, the Revels and different things out there that have the full showers, the full countertop, and, and, and for my use... You know, those are great. Those are great mm -hmm. products, yeah, but for my use, it's not going to be uh, super ideal. Uh, so when I came across Van Do It and looked at how modular, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the keyword that right. that would probably say a bunch. Um, it's like you say, you can you can take. I'm already thinking about taking this thing on a wine tour, taking six or eight friends. You know, mm -hmm. you can do that, or I can go solo, put down a desk. I can work in there. Um, I can throw the bikes in there, kayaks. Just right. I mean, it does everything. Yeah, I'm selling you're, myself. You're, well, you're and you're getting the do model. Correct. Yep, which uh, is a little bit different than the Live. The Live has a permanent bed, which raises and lowers. The Do model, which Mark has uh, ordered, has the, the, the sleeping platforms or the bed platforms that actually fold in off the side, and they're suspended from the uh, T-track in the ceiling um, with basically ratchet straps, and you have the ability to, to raise and lower those platforms. So, um, you know, Mark will have basically a, uh, an infinite number of sort of arrangements that he can, you know, make within the van for sleeping, working, um, hauling all of your, you know, Remax Adventure Team gear to various shows like this. So I think, you know, the, the live works very well for my wife and me, but um, I think, you know, for someone like yourself, that the do is the way to go. Absolutely, there is two units: will, or sorry, live, uh, live and do. Um, so yeah, you'll notice on Van Duet's website that's their two main ones, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And uh, and then within those two platforms, there's 20 different things you can do, um, like the kitchen pods right, and the, right. the, the bike slides and the, yeah. all the lot of different accessories. Yeah, and it seems like, you know, every every day almost um, either Van Do It is creating something um, that they're going to be rolling out or um, an owner, of an, an existing van owner has sort of created or, or figured out a way to, to make a component, which you know, they, they share. We've got a very, very uh, active and robust uh, Facebook group, which right now is probably pushing 2,500 um, people, members, I guess. It is. Yep. Yep. Let's do a little walk around. Let's check out okay. some of this here. Great. So uh, for starters, I like that uh, this is an option. doesn't come on all of them, but you have the uh, Thule, Thule awning. It's the crank out style, which I, I like that it's crank out, so you don't yeah. have to worry about mechanical issues and if it, I heard some other ones with uh, the automatic there's a little things that happen here and there I like the yeah. fact that this is a crank out yeah the, the crank out I think is just you know it's the way to go the the last thing you need is your you know the motor on a mechanical awning to fail you know with the awning in the out position so this way you know it's uh, it, it takes you know less than a minute probably less than 30 seconds to roll the thing out and it's just you know one less thing to to go wrong it's sort of like you know people often ask well why isn't you know in my model why don't they make the bed mechanical as far as the, the hydraulic operation of it? 
And again, just having something that's manual, you've got one less thing to, to go wrong. One less thing to go wrong. Yep. Let's, uh, let's look at this real quick. These, uh, the Van Duet packages, um, a lot of them come with the um, aftermarket wheels, and you can get the K, uh, what's the? the K KO2s. Yep. BF Good yeah, they're the BF Goodrich KO2. Okay. So, and those are the, um, they're called the Ultra Toil Rims. Okay. So. And this one does have a two-inch lift. Not all of them have I have a lift, um, but this one does have a two-inch lift. Yeah, and you can, still, you can still put the oversized tires in without the lift, but you know, depending on how much load you have in the in the vehicle, you do run the risk of maybe a little bit of rubbing. So most people, if they if they go with the oversized tires, they they ultimately end up getting a lift. And um, Quigley, who does the four by four, which now with the all-wheel drive transits, there's not really the demand or the need for the 4x4. So Quigley has actually come out with a, a Q-lift, it's called, and it's a two-inch lift for the all-wheel drive van. So they're, they're still trying to capture a little bit of the, the Ford Transit market. Sure. And uh, supposedly their, their angles and the way their Q-lift is engineered um, works perfectly with the, the all-wheel drive. You just brought up a good point. Uh, one of the things I loved about the Ford, Van Duet and the Ford Transit is the all-wheel drive. You know, I don't necessarily need four-wheel drive. I'm not going to be taking this thing through giant ruts and you know doing all kinds of mountain, you know, right. climbing. You could probably in these, but I wanted the um, all-wheel drive, the daily use. Uh, Michigan, we're from Michigan, the snow and everything like that. Right. So that to me, that was a big point. Yeah, I think um, I can touch base on that too because I have the four-wheel drive. Oh. Um, and I would have to say that, you know, two years into this van, I don't think I've been anywhere that I couldn't have gone with all-wheel drive. Okay. So, I mean, I have it. It's nice to know I have it. But some people say, yeah, you know, four-wheel drive, you can get farther in, but you can also get farther in stuck. So. I thought you had uh, Quigley two-inch lift. I didn't realize I had the four-wheel drive. Yeah, so, got gotcha. Four four with Quigley. So. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay. Um, a lot of the Van Duets, um, right from the factory, you can get a half quarter wrap, half wrap, full wrap right from the factory. Um, seemed a pretty reasonable priced, and I, I like the fact that they know what they're doing. They know, I'm sure their guy who installs them, yeah. I mean, all these vans out there look sweet. Yeah, I mean, the, I think it's uh, Royal Signs or something like that, the fella that does all the wraps for Van Duet, and uh, yeah, it's it's very reasonable. I, um, I looked at getting a full wrap done by a, a local, you know, image sign business and it was going to be over seven thousand dollars i think you can get a full wrap um through van do it with your order for somewhere closer to four thousand dollars i think it's 39 39 okay yep yep so very reasonable yes and like you said the guy's done now hundreds of vans yeah i mean he he comes in with the the graphics and just does a phenomenal job sure sure it's a busy place here you yeah, got a lot of yeah. people looking let's jump to the rear slide and you kind bet. of check that out sure. a minute yep All right, so we're walking over to the rear slide. Uh, why don't you show them a little bit how this works? Sure. Um, this is the uh, the rear gear slide, and it just has a knob here. What's kind of cool about it is um, it stops about every six inches. So, or you can just hold it and pull it all the way out. Um, the gear slide is it's um, it holds about 700 pounds. So, it's I mean that's 700 pounds in the out position. Sure. So it's uh, it's really nice. It's a great way to primarily load bikes uh, and get the, get the fork mounts handled for the for the bikes that are you know frontward facing so. and Kurt and I were just talking as well um, if you go to uh, Van Duet's um, Van Duet's Instagram channel they're starting to build all kinds of different uh, attachments back here for the biking world correct that has uh, a toolbox yeah. and yeah, some real got a, fun they've got a unit right now that is uh, the width of the gear slide but it has two drawers that come out so you know, it could be enough to hold some clothing or some tools. And so what it's really doing is it, it is raising your, your fork mount up a little bit, but you look at how the seat is higher right now, it's actually just almost bringing the handlebars up to the same height level as the seat. Yep. So even though you're getting extra storage here and the fork mounts, you know, are raised, um, you, you don't really, you're not sacrificing the ability to, to, to move the bed up or down. You know, you're, you're able to bring the bed down basically as far as I'd be able to bring it down um, with the current setup. And I do have it all the way up right now, um, just for the show, to allow people to sit down in the, in the two seats without bumping their head. And uh, it just, I wanted it to, to appear as open and, and give everybody an idea of how much space really is available in this.
One thing to point out right now too is the back to this is a live model. So this is the fixed bed that is on hydraulics that goes up and down. The do model isn't going to have this. It's going to have um, basically fold down bunk style beds that can go the width, but uh, it's it's a little bit different. So it's it's kind of nice. There's options. Right, and and actually. Um you won't have these cabinets on either side as well. Um, your power unit is going to be more of a, a vertical rack here, so it really frees up um, quite a bit of the of the side. You're actually going to be be able to have in the do model. You'll be able to have you know a couple of single bunks folded down and still room to pass through or work or whatever you you need to do on the on the driver's side of the vehicle. Absolutely, absolutely, and maybe Kirk can come around. Kirk can come around. This Kirk, yep. not this Kirk, yep. <laughs> can Cameraman come around. Kirk. There we go. There we go. And show. So the water setup. Um, it's a unique water setup. At first, I wasn't too sure about it, but the more I think about it, I like it. Yeah, it's a. It's just a six-gallon uh, jerry can that has a quick release to be able to take out and refill. Um, I also have a um, two and a half gallon uh, water heater. Um, I think they also have it all self-contained right now, if I'm not mistaken. I think you can get the water and the water heater all in a, in a self-contained unit. Mine is, mine is all separate here. They also have the ability to add an additional 10-gallon integrated onboard um, water tank as well with just a, a switch here to move it from, from the regular 6 over to the 10. So you could really travel with 16 gallons plus the 2.5 that's in the water heater. So really almost 20 gallons of water you could have on board. Um, but yeah, it's real simple. I've got a, a faucet set up here with a quick release for the, uh, the spray hose. So that you know functions as a shower out here. I've got the, the square little showy unit, they call it, which is just basically a black square drape that you zip up, climb inside, and you know take your shower. Um, I also have the water that feeds up to the kitchen pod, which we can look at when we, when we go around to the side door. But yeah, it's, it's nice to have, you know, both cold and hot running water. So. Absolutely, absolutely. And I like the fact, you know, the use that I'm going to be doing, um, you know, I don't need 30 gallons of water with me. Right. I like the fact that wherever I'm at, I can go fill that up real quick, and I yeah. like the versatility. And, and more, more than likely, even if you do the 10-gallon, you, you're probably going to end up uh, traveling with a spare one of these filled up anyways. Sure. Just kind of lashed onto your, your gear slide or up against one of your uh, T-Tracks. Sure. Yep. Sure. One more thing while we're back here is um, this is lithium or AGM? This came stock with AGM, but I decided to do a, a DIY, okay. do it yourself, lithium upgrade. <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, you can you can get it. I mean, they they'll they offer the lithium right now, but I, I decided to go ahead and just upgrade mine. Not that I was you know falling short with with power or energy or anything, but it just. I don't know, just one it's more fun. way to spend money on the van. It's I fun guess. to upgrade once in a while. It's yeah, just fun to upgrade. Exactly. You know, the, the, the real plus to lithium is that you get almost 90% of the, uh, the amperage. Um, with an with a AGM, you really shouldn't draw much below 50% um, of the battery. So with my battery bank, which is 300 amp hours, I have about 270 usable. Whereas with the AGM 300, you really only have about 150. Sure, usable. sure. And I'm going to start with the AGM just for my use because I'm just going to be like a weekend warrior yep. or um, maybe one or two nights tailgating, things like that. Um, so I'm going to, so yeah, it definitely. Well, you've got a, a, a Jackery or an alter, alternate unit as well, right? Correct. Okay. I have a backup, you know, the Gold Zeros, they make yep. the Jackeries, you know, so that's what's kind of cool, versatile. You know, you, you uh, um, so that's what's cool about this thing is you can yeah, right. build it however you, uh, however yeah, you want to use can, it. You can continue to tweak it, you know, like I said, there's. You know, who knows? You you might come up with some great idea that all the other do owners are going to want. Sure. You know, so sure, sure, yep. Awesome. Well, let's see if we got some time to jump in the all the right. front portion here. You bet. All right. So we made it over to the side. hard to get in here. Busy yeah. place. There's a, hundreds of people kind of coming through here. So we got a quick break in the action. We do have a little break in the action here. So let's check it out. Uh, I'll let you kind of walk in and. Okay. Well, kind of where we left off, I had mentioned that uh, with the uh, with the water uh, source in the back running through the water heater. We have both cold and hot water uh, running water, and what it I'll goes do is have, just take that with you. And yep, kinda, yeah, there we go. Sure. So this right here is the uh, is the kitchen pod, which I discussed. It's got a fold up leaf, and it's got a nice little, you know, simple to use sink here. And you can just that's cold. I don't have the water heater on right now, but you would turn it up, and that would give you your hot water. So. You know, it's, it's nice when you're, you know, doing your dishes or if you just want to do a quick face wash in the morning or something like that, 
you've got you know you've got the warm water as well. Um, the kitchen pod here, it all comes out. Um, I've got another two bench seat that can go here, and then I can remove the uh, Dometic uh, refrigerator unit, and I've got a jump seat there. So, like I said, within about 15 or 20 minutes, I can turn this thing back into a seven passenger van. Okay. I just had my sister-in-law, Sue, make this nice little drape cover here. Um, it's basically just to sort of hide what I've got going on down here. This is the gray water for the sink. And then right now I just have some of my kitchen items there. I may, um, what some people have done, I've got the uh, Lavio dry flush toilet okay. from Van Do It, And they've been able to put that right down there as well, okay? Um, I have like some pots and things like that. I carry a lot of stuff that I don't ever use. I think I need it, but I end up not using it. So I'm sure if some of this stuff, if, yeah, if some of this stuff went away, I think I would survive. But this is pretty cool too, because it, push this down. Yep. Yep, just push this down and, and it comes all the way out. So if you, I, from what I understand from the people that are doing it with the toilet there, this, this supports, that's strong enough to be able to sit and you know, you don't, you can just leave the toilet there. Okay. So, yep. A couple things, a uh, couple things I like about it too, is this, uh, you got the Laguna mount right here. Yep. Um, so for those who want to work on the road, um, we won't set it up right now, but you can sit in the chair and then this Laguna table slides over here right in front of you. Do your laptop and you know right. socialize like this. I, I took it out for today just because I knew people might want to come in and sit down in the in the passenger chair and it's you know it's real easy. It swings in and out of the way, but I knew that a lot of people. I mean, I've seen as many as four or five people inside of this thing at this show, so want to nice. make it as roomy as possible. Nice. And like you say, they do come with seats. They do come with the seats. Correct. I, from what I understand, you can ask them for all of the. The, the normal factory seats that come with it. They probably have more in stock that people don't want than... Right. Than, uh, some people, yeah, some people don't take the seats. So, you know, for example, I, you, couldn't put a, you could put a three here, but I just, I said I wanted a two. So I just, you know, went back to the seat closet right. and, and grabbed a two. So I've got two, two, single jump seat here, and then passenger driver for seven. I think I'd do the same. I definitely yeah. think I'd do it's the nice, same. It's nice to have a little landing area here when sure. people step up. Sure. And while you're sitting there on the Dometic, yeah. um, so Dometic, they have a pretty good deal on a lot of their accessories like a Dometic that you can get right from Van Do It. I think they have better pricing because they're ordering them in large large quantities. So you can do that size. You can do the smaller size. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of uh, Dometic. I already have one. It's an yeah. awesome product. Um, I like the versatility, once again, to, to move it. You know, you can right. take it. Mine's right now in the back of a trailer, so um, works pretty well. So talk a little bit about that. Um, probably can't do it right now, but as I say, is it easy to push? Well, we won't get into all that, but you can actually, that bed above him, those rails can push back and then it'll fold to where you can get a bunch more headroom. Yeah. Um, but he's got it kind of set up nice, so we won't mess with that. These, I, can, yeah, I can push the seat, fold it all the way back so that the edge of the bed is right about here. So. And this is not the extra length, this is the regular length. This, yeah, it's called the long.